Hey, how y'all doing? I'd like to welcome y'all today to the uh, Reliable A Inc. Caregiver Community. My name is Mr. Casey. Uh, it's my buddy Red right here. Red just hanging out with me, uh, bagged up for Valentine's Day. He all ready to go. So, you know, you need to see Red at your girlfriend's house. Uh, give us a small donation and we'll make sure Red's at your house. That's for real. I ain't playing with that. So, look, I just uh, I came today because I wanted to read y'all my short epiphany bridge script. Now, look, I got it written down, so don't laugh at me, all right? Um, if you're on here, I'd just like to say thank you. You know, uh, I guess we can do a little housewarming or whatever. Uh, my name is Mr. Casey. Like I said, they call me uh, Mr. Casey. My real name is Kion Church. Um, I'm the founder of Reliable Aid, Inc. Uh, just to put it out there, I'm actually just the first great big hearted caregiver that came through these doors so uh on top of that we just built the whole community you know i had i had uh, i had just to give you a little backstory about myself i had two built-in clients you know i had my, my mother uh you know god rest her soul she's gone now but um i was her caregiver uh once upon a time and uh, i'm lucky enough now to uh be able to take care of my father i got a little mail okay so, what I like to do, uh, just for people who maybe can identify with that, because we all got parents, and you know, I'm, I'm like almost 50, I ain't really 50, but I'm like close, so, you know, if you're in my position, you know, I don't think we the millennials, but if you're in my position and you, you maybe got some family members or loved one that's getting older, you can't figure out what to do, you need to say solution for the seniors, you know, you got some special seniors, and you're like, man, some people that took care of you. You know, a lot of people took care of me. It was a lot of hands went in the pot taking care of me. I ain't make it this far like this, you know, just to be making it. You know what I mean? It ain't always work like that. Yeah, so uh, what I want to do right now is read to you my short Epiphany Bridge uh, script. Now, it is a script and it's written down, but it is true. So I'm going to give it to you. I just want to let y'all know that I'm reading so y'all don't think I'm trying to pull this fake teleprompter thing off. Okay. There I was an adult child of two senior parents trying to figure out how our caregiver roles had gotten reversed. The thing is, at the time, I was in denial about my parents' health decline and the fact that they even needed any help. The big problem was that my mom's newfound kidney failure slash dialysis combination kept her energy at an all-time low. And if that wasn't bad enough, my father couldn't shake his depression long enough to get off the couch, which left me the only child with one more thing on my plate that I couldn't handle. That meant... The life that my parents once enjoyed was over, and to top it off, I had to move back to my parents' home to save the day. Um, <clears throat> I guess, as you know, you know, that killed all my spare time and completely crushed my income. You know, then as if by chance something amazing happened. I saw a TV commercial about a president, uh, about a presidential, about a professional care manager who walked families through the entire process about getting a direct care worker that could allow your loved ones to keep their dignity along with helping them with their activities of daily living. Um, it instantly became crystal clear to me how to get my parents to help they desperately needed because I saw the need for a reliable home health service people could depend on, you know? Uh, my plan was to start by creating an awesome caregiver manual that we could build a business off of. Uh, I got a real nice manual for you. If you want it, you know, it'll help me out a lot. It'll help you out a lot too. Um, so what I did is I started talking to all the friends that I had who were in the nursing, the caregiving space about you know, what some of the best practices was, best some of the best care procedures was that the average family member could do to be able to uh, help take care of a loved one and, you know, help them maintain through their hard times, you know. But after we got that manual, <clears throat> after we got that manual taken care of, uh, you know, building on that success, we decided to create a dependable personal assistance service agency with similar uh, situations. We decided, uh, building on that success, we decided to create a dependable personal assistance service agency people with people with similar situations could use as a safe solution for seniors. Man, I can't talk right now. It's killing me. Okay, we call it Reliable Aid. Hey, Reliable Aid, ain't y'all seen it? Uh, don't see me on it. Don't see me on the thing. Uh, you know, hey. So, okay, with Reliable Aid, Inc., I can now return to my favorite lifestyle without worrying about having to send my parents to an assistant uh, living facility that I can't even afford, you know? So I don't know 
If you got a lot of money for an assisted living facility, man, and, you know, you can afford it, man, you know, go for it, man. I ain't got it, you know. And not only that, just to let you know that the caretaker is actually one of the oldest professions, one of the most respected professions, you know what I mean? If some people take care of you, then you, you really owe some other people to be taking care of them, you know. Um, we only good as our support team, you know. So if you need some help with that, any questions, any comments, anything you got, you know, put it in the uh, put it in the bar. You know, let us know what's going on. If you're feeling this, give me the wild face, you know. Uh, give me the wild face. Give me the wild face. You know, you know, show me that you like me, you know what I mean? Let me know about this thing here, you know, let me know. Uh, you got some special caretaker uh, uh, things you got going on you want us to know about, let us know. You know, if you want to come on here and, and share your story with the people, that's cool. You know, I got a big story I'm going to tell y'all. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, and uh, before it's over, what I want to do is give y'all my uh, affirmation for the day. Now, a lot of y'all don't know, but uh, Mr. KC do a lot of motivational and, uh, and a lot of other things. So, these are my notes for the day. I'm going to be posting them. What I want y'all to do is write this down. This is for all the amazing, big-hearted caregivers and everybody else alike. Okay, this is our declaration of today. Now, listen, what I want you to do right now is write this down because I'm going to give it to you. This thing is major. It's important. It's all that. You know what I'm saying? So, look, this is what I want you to do. This is our declaration. I can because I think I can. I am programmed for success. I believe I am a winner. I can do anything. My belief system is limitless. I can, I can, I can. I can because I think I can. I am programmed for success. I believe I am a winner. I can do anything. My belief system is limitless. I can, I can, I can. I'm Mr. KC and I'm out. Holler at you. Caregiver community, one love. Peace.